Hello, it's me, Joel Deacon, and today I am going to not shit on somebody, which is surprising coming from me, considering I am known for shitting on people, quite literally. Uh, the Danganronpa ASMR video was, like, the last video I made shitting on people, and I actually still like that video, but I'm not- I'm going to unshit on somebody. Uh, their name is- I would probably be surprised if you haven't heard them already. Their name is Jellybean, and no, this is not fucking Jellobug, leave me alone. Uh, I will be honest, I thought it was Jellobug when I first stumbled across their channel, but if you've been on TikTok within the past few days, uh, you have probably seen a hate video, I'd call it on Jellybean. Uh, she is known as a PNG tuber, which is basically uh, their little character in the bottom right or left corner of the screen, and they would have their mouth open whenever the person would be speaking, and it's like a little animated character. And I mean, while PNG tubers themselves, I think they're they're not the most uh, creative type of content creators, but they're certainly better than the fucking, you know, gotcha tubers and shit. Because at least with this, it's a little more creative, I'd say. But I guess that's truly up for debate. Uh, she currently has 1.95 million subscribers, which is a little more than mine's. And she's almost close to 2 million, so uh, she... And a lot of those subscribers are more than definitely fucking children. <laughs> Uh, she kind of reminds me of Gotcha Life in a way, but, uh, you've probably seen her getting quote-unquote roasted by the fucking skeletons. I just wonder what a PNG tuber is. I don't, I don't really get what the fuck the skeletons are, but, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> I've come in defense of Jellybean mainly, the, mainly because... You guys are taking it a little too far. Now, little fucking skeleton videos, I mean, they're not bad. Like, they're fucking, they're pretty, they're pretty tame when it comes to some of the other shit I've seen. Je when you search up Jelly Bean Docs, if you search up Jelly Bean Docs, one of the first thing that comes up is a website called Docsbin, and I assume this is where most doxing shit happens. And, and her entire fucking, her... Her name, her age, her fucking address, her emails, her passwords, her fucking, all of her accounts, her fucking parents, everything about her parents, everything about her has been just leaked onto the internet. I don't give a shit if it's all legally obtained info. Where is your sense of morality, friend? <laughs> she makes Minecraft videos. She is admittedly kind of annoying. I will admit that. She is admittedly kind of annoying. I can see why some people wouldn't like her. But why do you take it this far, friend? What are your limits? Do you fucking... I don't even think Dream was harassed this badly. He was quote-unquote dox, but I'm pretty sure the dox was confirmed fake. They're treating people... They're treating Jellybean worse than fucking Dream, which is kind of surprising considering a lot more people hate Dream than they do Jellybean. So, I'm genuinely confused on why Jellybean is getting a lot more hate. It's... It's really sad to see this, honestly. They fucking... They... <laughs> all they're saying is fucking... And their only defense, or their only, like, roast of Jellybean is that no bitches and no father. Which... It's kind of getting annoying, because those... Those memes have been around for a while, and they're just not funny anymore. Coming from a person without a father, I've never had a father, nor have I ever had a father figure, it's not fucking funny anymore. It was funny at first, but when you started using it, and it was like your only, like, line of attack, it started getting unfunny, and they still call, and they still say it, I don't fucking get it, but I guess this was my little half-assed defense of Jelly Bean. She's like, if she is confirmed a 17-year-old, she's still a teenager, and her mind is still developing, and you're fucking harassing her to, like, the point of no return. I am genuinely proud of Jelly Bean that she's sticking it out this far. I will probably never watch one of her videos, nor do I really want to, but I am, like, genuinely proud of Jelly Bean for, like, sticking this out and still being able to show her face on the internet. 
I just searched up Jelly Bean on Twitter, and why- I searched- No, I searched up the word Jelly on Twitter, and why the fuck is one of the first in Jelly Bean Rule 34? I am being dead fucking serious. I cannot take this shit no more, man. I sincerely cannot. I'm going to make the mistake of clicking on this, and I swear to God, if I see- Hi, Kiki. And I swear to God, if I see fucking porn, I'm gonna kill myself. Oh my fucking- I cannot take this shit no more! I can't take this shit no more! It's not even hot! But what the fuck, man? Alright, well, I- I can't take this shit no more! That was my little half-ass defense of fucking Jelly Bean. Uh, this is not a return of making videos in general, because I'm bad at that. A uh, new song parody coming out eventually. I am working on a business by Eminem song parody. Fuck knows when that's coming out. First verse is done, and that's it. Alright, see ya. Fuck you guys.